It's time for another GoPro mounting tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to replace the sticky mount or the, the double sided sticky tape on the bottom of an adhesive mount. This is the adhesive mount that came off my ski eventually when it fell off. So the stick on the bottom of this is now completely useless and will not stick to anything at all. But it is easy ish to replace it. We, uh, I've got here some, this is VHB 3M sticky tape. It doesn't say it on it. I don't actually have the package anymore, but I will put a picture of what it looks like beside it. Now, it isn't as wide as the original GoPro one. It's the same stuff, but it, again, it isn't as wide. It's also not as thick. This, the VH, the VB8, VHB sticky tape comes in uh, different thicknesses, and I believe GoPro is using the middle one. This is the thinner one, so it's not going to do as well on rough surfaces, but the stick on it is the same. Uh, again, I don't know. When we replace this, the mount isn't going to be perfectly as strong as it was originally, but it is a way to replace the sticky tape on your GoPro mount to be able to reuse it, which is a lot better than not using it at all. Uh, the tools I've got today, I've got an Zapto knife, a scraper, a heat gun. If you don't have a heat gun, a hot hair dryer will work quite well. Uh, it'll just take a little bit longer. And a cutting board for when I trim the tape at the very end. The other thing I'm going to need, I'm using the J-buckle mount just as something to slide into the, the flat adhesive mount to stop from uh, burning myself when I warm it up. So the first thing we're going to do is heat the adhesive up a little bit. As this adhesive gets hot, the glue becomes a little bit softer, and at that point it'll be easier to uh, scrape off. So let's get started. Sticking my scraper underneath it and starting to pull the the stick the sticky the sticky double sided sticky tape away from the mount. As you can see now that it's warm, it's actually coming off really, really well. And then I just pull, and there's the, the adhesive taken off, has now been taken off. And all we're left with now is the flat mount with no double-sided sticky tape on the bottom of it. All right, so now that we've done that, we can put our heat gun away or our blow dryer, whatever it may be. We don't need our scraper anymore. We don't really need our mount anymore. Now all we need is our X-Apto knife, VHB double-sided sticky tape, our mount and our X-Apto knife and our cutting board. Bring our cutting board over. So as I said before, this tape that I got at the, actually I bought this at Walmart, isn't thick enough as, or wide enough you see to put a full strip or yeah to get one strip I'll put on it so what I'm gonna do instead is put two strips side by side this way and they're gonna be just about the perfect size so to start with we're gonna put our first one on line it up at the edge just like that and then just take your exacto knife or your sharp knife whatever you're using and cut it off right there all right, so that's one piece. Now we're going to put the second piece right beside it. A good press down, just like that. And then we'll cut that one off. We're going to put our tape aside now. And now all we're going to do is just trim really neatly around the edge so we get rid of all the excess sticky tape that's sticking out. It really helps if your X-Apto knife is really, really sharp. If you don't use a sharp knife, um, you will end up making a mess of the, the tape and it's really not going to cut very well and it'll start binding up. So a really sharp blade is a, is a good idea. A sharp blade's a safe blade, as they, as they say. Just clean it up a little bit. And there you go. Your GoPro mount is now almost as good as new. I wouldn't say it is as good as new. As you can see, the this foam is a sticky tape is a little bit thinner than the original stuff, which means it's not going to be quite as good on some surfaces. It's uh, the same 
basic tape. The same tape has the same construction. It is VHB tape, so it should be as sticky as the original mount. Um, just leave the protective coating on until you want to mount it on something. It can go back in your bag of mounts as a usable mount. Um, yeah, so guys, that was a quick video showing how to re tape on your GoPro adhesive mounts. It's quite easy to do. It's very, very cheap. I believe the sticky tapes, or the double-sized sticky tape, is less than $5, so it's cheaper than buying a bag of mounts, and you should be able to do quite a few, redo quite a few mounts with it, so that's useful. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, guys, please subscribe for more. Check out my channel. If you've got any questions or comments about this video or others, uh, leave me a comment. I will get back to you, so thank you for watching.